So for the last 10 years, we haven't just been making League of Legends. We always knew we wanted to make new games eventually, but not at the expense of you know, the growth and the needs of League of Legends. A lot of us spent our youth playing shooters, like really hard shooter. Strategy games. It had a Street Fighter 2 machine. I love games that bring me somewhere new. One of my all-time favorite games, for example, is Civilization. The single player side, not the multiplayer side. Magic the Gathering, by far. I've been a card game player my whole life. I grew up playing lots of classic adventure games. I play a lot of MMORPGs, which tend to last basically forever. I was going to the arcade every day after school. I've been a dungeon master for 30 years. I think Riot is a collection of people that started as players that wanted to make new experiences or better experiences so they became developers while remaining players. Whether you're a, a tactical shooter fan or fighting game fan or strategy card game fan, you can count on Riot to support that those needs with a really, really strong long-term mindset. Even though we all love League of Legends, I think we also all love to imagine the possibility of what would it be like to run around and explore the world of Runeterra? How could we enable experiences for, for players to go explore with their friends? I hope that in the same way when you see a Disney movie and then you go to Disneyland and getting to actually walk around and explore a space that you know really well feels so magical, I hope that's the kind of experience that we can give to players. That feeling of actually seeing something and then going there in person and wandering around as though it were real. We didn't build League of Legends, right? We started it, we seeded it, and then we built it with the community of players. Right? The players have showed us ways to play our game that we never imagined, right? And they're continuing to do that. You know, we just exposed a whole bunch of information about what we're making as we become, I think, more transparent, that they will know that we are always thinking about them first. As a developer, it's such an exciting time when you've been working on something sort of behind the scenes for such a long period of time and you start to show it to the rest of the world to, to get feedback. About a month ago at EVO, we were able to share news about Project L uh, with fighting game fans around the world, uh, live and in person. That was a crazy, surreal experience because we've been working on this for a little while and we've always had to be so secretive. What I think League of Legends players expect from this game is uh, different but in some ways um, harmonious with what I think fighting game players expect from this game. Uh, everyone wants a great game, but what we've been seeing is that people are really excited to see Rune Terran champions like in a new light, even like from a new camera angle. Making fighting games is really, really tough. Uh, these are intricate games to make. And while we're uh, a good ways towards uh, making something that we think is really cool, we still have a long way to go. We're gonna go dark for a while after this. Um, so please don't expect anything soon, but know that we're here working hard for you. My hope is that Riot continues on for many, many years and decades to come as a company that players can count on to have their back. We're really excited to see how people react and, and you know, we believe that there's an incredible opportunity to sort of make some player dreams come true in a bunch of new ways and we hope we can do that.